Okay, let's talk about scheduling a blog. This is the first blog for July of 2024. Uh, when we start out when we go over here to posts and then add new post. It'll bring up this information and then you start by putting in here before you ever go into Elementor, the title of this particular blog. In addition to the title, you will scroll down here and pick a category is marketing content. You have all these options. Then you enter some tags. I have entered tags. Then you go down here and you set your featured image. This is not hard. You basically click on it, brings you in here. You choose your image, which in this case is this one. I gave it the alt text, which FYI, the alt text needs to include the key phrase. In this case, it's hiring an agency. All right, once this is done, before you ever go into Elementor, you need to go up here to Scheduled For and choose the scheduling date. The upside to doing this is that you can set this as though it's ready to go and just do it. And life is easy because you're not going to uh, put it on the time. So you pick your date. I chose to do this at 8 a.m. on July the 1st. So the July 1st time was it. I usually like mornings for the blogs. Uh, and then I hit save or I think it was schedule at that point. Either way, you click that before you do anything else. You let it go through its thing, blah, blah, blah. Now you go into Elementor. This is where we actually build the blog. Here's the cool thing. Because we did this stuff, the image is already at the top. The title's already at the top. Great. So we then go into our actual blog text, which I had here and start pulling it in. Now, to do this as efficiently as possible, what I end up doing is you get, and I'll show you this at the bottom of the screen, you have this lovely thing down here, you drag these over and drop them to create the sections. By having multiple sections, you don't have one big thing, you can make a bunch of changes. For example, you can see this has got this pink box because this is a section. Pink box, section. The cool thing about this is eventually, when the video is live, I can go like this and drag the video in. Now, I could put it in this section. I can also do it as its own. I could do it now, but I can do it as its own. And what will end up happening when I do do that is I'll go down here, bring the video in, see how it sets it up separately, grab this middle part and scroll up until I can put it where I want it. And where I want it, because it's the video, is it will go here. Eventually, this will be a video. It's not now because the video has not yet gone to YouTube, so it won't be able to go up. But each individual bit gets these. In the text, when I'm editing the text, you make sure that these are a heading two. You do that over here on the left in the text. Scroll through each individual image. Same idea, you go here, choose your image after you bring the stuff over, give it its key phrase, make that the description. Make sure the keyword phrase is in here in addition to something else about what this image is. Doesn't necessarily need to be there. Key phrase image is probably the most important part. The alt text also serves the purpose for anybody who is visually impaired. Gives them an idea of what they're looking at because of what we're doing here. It's a little less important, but it's good to have. There is a missing space there I want to get rid of. That takes care of that problem. Okay. So images, text, images, text. This is the FAQ. I'd never done this before uh, to make it work. As you see, question, it scrolls through. I have to click it to get the answer. Now, I wasn't sure how else to do a drop down menu because I've never done a drop down menu before. Uh, I used scrolling through here, the toggle this is how I did it. Now, if there's another way to do it, I'll check, but this, as far as I can tell, is how to do it image, etc., etc. One blog. When you're done, you can hit publish, or what I do in this case is save draft. I am not going to save this draft because this needs to go bye bye. Because it's not ready yet. I can't put that in until that particular video goes live. Once that video goes live, I will add it here and it will be on the blog. And as you will see, it's going to tell me don't leave the page. I'm leaving the page anyways. Uh, the SEO on this without the video, according to this is 90 out of 100, so that's pretty good. Oh, because I forgot to show you something, which is important. Uh, once you're in here in Elementor, you need to go up here to SEO, click this, type in the keyword phrase. In this case, it's hiring an agency. Look at all this lovely green 
Now, yes, there are a couple other things I could add. We could do a, the URL is very long. Um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now because the SEO is good enough on here. This is not a problem. There's not gonna be a number in our SEO title. That's just silly. Anyway, that is everything you need to know about this process. Hopefully that will show you what you gotta do to create and post a blog. Any questions, let me know. Thank you.